In 1928, something quite amazing happened. A British bacterial scientist named Alexander Fleming went on holiday. Whilst that doesn't sound that amazing, it's what happened back in his laboratory that was. While he and his family were relaxing by the seaside, a green mouldy substance was hard at work in one of his petri dishes. When Dr Fleming returned, he discovered the bacteria that was previously residing in one of his dishes had all but vanished. It turned out the mould contained a bacteria-killing substance. A decade later, two gentlemen at Oxford University, Howard Florey and Ernest Chain, isolated the substance and they gave birth to a miracle. Penicillin, as Fleming named this miracle, turned out to be one of the greatest developments in the history of mankind. By 1945, enough penicillin had been produced from this mouldy goodness to save the lives of many Allied soldiers fighting in World War II. Penicillin was the world's first antibiotic. It was nicknamed the Wonder Drug. Before antibiotics, infection was the leading cause of death. Now, in less than 70 years, we risk losing the miracle of antibiotics. Now, I hate to tell you, but it's already started. More and more bacteria are building up resistance to the infection-fighting power of antibiotics. This means more and more infections may simply become untreatable. We can start by using them appropriately and acting on some basic facts. Antibiotics only kill bacteria, not viral infections like colds and flu. If you're given antibiotics, Take them exactly as they're prescribed and don't skip doses. Never share or use leftover antibiotics. Antibiotics treat specific types of bacterial infections. Taking the wrong ones may delay correct treatment and allow those pesky bacteria to get even stronger and multiply further. The problem belongs to everyone. It's all our responsibility to preserve this miracle. Spread the word and join the fight against antibiotic resistance. Let's preserve this precious miracle for our generation and for future generations before it's too late.